Hi everyone, this is Abrar. Welcome to Abrar Knowledge Channel. Today's topic is on Six Sigma Calculator, and this is my 58th video, and it's gonna be very very special. And what I'm going to share is the Six Sigma Calculator using Excel. So with the help of that, what you can do is you can do uh, any calculation on the any process capability calculation whether it is a continuous data whether it is a discrete data much quicker and much much faster so in this one there are five just to give you uh, you know a little bit of what that excel will do and what is excel is capable of excel anything which you give a value for example you have a value you do not have the many tab handy with you all you have is just excel when you feed the value automatically it will give the result for example you wanted to find out cp you wanted to find out cpk that means the excel has got uh, the uh, the input fields like you know the mean value process usl lsl and so on all you need to do is you need, when you feed the value i'm also going to give a demonstration when you feed the value you will get the cp and cpk and similarly you have a defect just you know the defect and sample number sample quantity you will be able to find out something called z st uh, long term short term performance long term performance and you can also from the defect you can also convert into six sigma and any sigma you can you will be able to convert it and defect to defect per million opportunity that defect you can convert you can translate to defect per million opportunity and from the defect million opportunity again you can go backward you can you will be able to find out the zst that is short term performance long term performance and six sigma and anything like six sigma values or sigma values you will be able to find it out and then the lastly you will also will be find out from the percentage for example 99.99 you will be able to tell that what is that it relate to uh, you know sigma value so you'll be able to do that so these things is already been parked good news is been parked in google drive you can take it from the google drive and this is a very very good excel where you can get all the calculation very very handy you don't need to depend on many tab all you can do with the help of you know the excel itself let's have a go to excel so this is the excel i am talking about basically it has got three main tabs which has all the calculation in it the first tab is on dpmo defect per million opportunity and six sigma level calculator for example if i give 100 my ppm is 100 so uh, automatically it has given like sigma value is 5.22 the short term sigma and let's say if i have given 200 is my million per opportunity that means uh, dpmo defect per million opportunity is resulted as 200 that means what will be the sigma 5.04 so we all know that you can also cross examine this one so this is the standard table we all know for example if it is six sigma so the defect per million opportunity is 3.4 right so the same value i'm going to key in here 3.4 so you can see that it has taken the value sigma level that is uh, short term uh, performance zst and that is 6 and if it is 1.5 shift that means the long term will be 4.5 similarly i will take this one so the corresponding to it so you we all know that uh, the yield if we, it is 6 sigma the yield is 99.99966 the same value i'm going to keep here 99.99966 so six sigma so whether you know defect from the defect you will be able to find out the sigma whether you know the yield from the yield you will be able to find out the sigma values let's take some more examples very interesting let me take an example of three uh, either two ways you can do if you know dpmo you can feed the dpmo will get the sigma value or if you know yield value you can find it out for example let's say i know uh, yield value 93.3 93.3 sorry so 
yield if yield is known you can feed this value 19 93.3 so the six, uh, three sigma so the uh, short term that is commonly known as the short term performance zft is 3 if it is having the shift it is one shift is considered to be 1.5 then you will have a long term as 1.5 Let's have a go with the one more example. The same thing you can do vice versa. So you know 60, uh, 66,000 and 807, right? That's your uh, values defect per million opportunity. You can also feed that value. 66,807. So you just need to give enter. You got the value, sigma value equal to 3. Like this, you can play around. If you know the DPMO value, you will get the sigma value. If you know DPU value, you will you can get the sigma value. If you know yield value, you can get the sigma value. Or you know only continuous data, normally distributed. If you know, for example, 7 is mean and point, uh, 1 is standard deviation, LSL, USL, you will be able to find out. Let's say I mean is, uh, the LSL is this one and mean, I have this improved and the 0.5 is standard deviation or point so that means 5.3 like this anything everything you will be able to do it much much faster and quicker way all these formula is enabled if you see here the formula is enabled in this also formula is enabled so all these field is being driven by formula that is all about the first step the first step is from the dpmo from the defect from the any discrete or continuous data you will be able to convert into sigma values let's have a go to discrete situation you have a typically three situations in discrete right first situation is uh, you know defects you know defects value and sample value let's say my defect is 20 and sample values i have done 2000 samples i have tested and opportunity i had let's say five critical to quality I have five parameter to check so what is my GST 4.38 and what is my defect per million opportunity that is uh, 2000 let's say I have now more rejection 30 rejection that means Sigma value call will come down let's say my rejection is increasing up let's say it became 60 that means it became 4 4.25 to 4.01 right let's say it became 100 3.83 so like this easily you will be able to do that uh, with the help of uh, this situation this excel first situation is defect is known right another situation is you know the defect and OFP is unknown how much opportunity you don't know for example let's say the same situation 100 defect and I have tested 2000 products so it gives a DPU 0 0.05 and defect per million opportunities 48,000 uh, if we happen to do it 1 million are 10 lakhs in Indian uh, terms 10 lakhs you will be end up having 48,771 let's say my process is robust like say I'm just improving this process 3.4 I mean only I had four defects and uh, and then I had an opportunity of uh, six sigma right one two three four five six sample is six so we all know that it is 5.97 so if I give 3.4 is going to be six the same this is all defect yeah defective is a big word uh, you know where we, we can relate to scrap or anything total non-usable things called defective right in defective the same situation let's say i give 3.4 i had an opportunity of 1 million 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then you there you go so the def defect per million opportunity and then you got gst and all that Let's say my defect is 20 out of 2000 product. So there you go. So it is much, much quicker and faster you can do that. And this is all about discrete situation. You have a typically three situation, whether you know defect, you do, you know defectives, or you know, uh, you don't know the OFI. So like this, you can do that. The last and final one is CP and CP. This is my favorite one. Let's say, uh, in process capability in many tab you have to go to uh, you know start and then process capability and then you have to take it right but in excel uh, the same speed we can do it for example let's say my lsl equal to uh, 5.5 uh, 
uh, I mean my LSL equal 4.5 4. my USL equal 5.5 mean is 4.7 standard deviation is 1 let's say I have improved the situation right I have improved it to made it uh, the mean value to 5 slightly improvement I have done and then the standard deviation I have improved to 1 so 1 point thing again further I improved I optimized my process I improved further let's say 0 0.01 so my sigma value is keep changing right so that is very very difficult to achieve let's say i'm just giving 5.2 like this the bottom line is what i'm trying to portray in this one is when you know lsl usl and standard deviation you will be able to find out much much easier in excel as such for example let's say you have a some situation where your usl is 8 and your LSL equal to 7 and uh, you you have a target called uh, you know point seven point five. I mean your mean value the process average that is x double bar the grand average is 7.5 and you you have a standard deviation is 0.1 let's say so 1.66 that is equal to 5 sigma right so like this you will be able to do uh, with the help of this excel is uh, much much easier and much much faster way let's go and recap uh, what we have saw we saw uh, about the calculator amazing calculator uh, when you know the effect per million opportunity you will be able to find out sigma and then discrete situation we also defect or defective will be able to find out the gst and dpmo and all that cp and cpk like cp you know the formula if you see that cpk formula you know uh, so this one v2 v2 is usl minus lsl by six sigma sigma is uh, you know this point one so and then you have a uh, you know cpk cpk what it will take the minimum value so you know the formula is usl minus x double bar that is mean value by three sigma or you can take uh, lsl by I mean mean value minus lsl by three sigma well, whichever the lower value it will take so the minimum minimum formula has been assigned here so just wanted to uh, uh, you know say that this excel will be very very handy for you take a leverage of it and take use of it and i just wanted to say that this can be downloadable uh, this is my blog abroad knowledge blog where you i have parked all these materials and you will be able to check out the mini tab versions as well as an excel version you will also will be able to download from this link as such so thank you so much please do like share and subscribe my channel you have a wonderful day ahead